So I've been following along with the March of the Machine spoilers, and there was a card spoiled recently that when I saw it, I was initially pretty hyped about it, and I feel like uh, quite a few other people were as well. But then when I started thinking about it some more, my expectations kind of came back down to earth a bit, but I still think this card is pretty interesting, so I wanted to talk about it today. This is Surge of Salvation. Obviously, I don't have the card yet. This is just a proxy that I printed out to make this video, but I think this card is still pretty cool. So this is just one white instant. It says you and permanence you control gain hexproof until end of turn. Prevent all damage that black and or red sources would deal to creatures you control this turn. And when I saw this card, one of the first comparisons that I went to was Veil of Summer because it does read quite similar to it. You know, it's just one mana instant. Gives you hexproof until end of turn. Veil of Summer only gives you hexproof from blue and black. This is from anything. Uh, however, there are some key differences. The main one being that Veil of Summer can draw you a card, which is obviously very important, and it also makes your spells uncounterable. So it definitely has those things up on Surge of Salvation, but this card has some things going for itself too. As I mentioned, it gives you hexproof from everything, not just from blue and black. But also, this part is kind of interesting. Prevent all damage that black and or red sorcerer would deal to creatures you control this turn. Seems kind of weird at first that it's just creatures you control, but then if it was just damage in general, that would probably be kind of overpowered. So I was trying to think of ways that you could use this line of text here, and one that's kind of cool is that you could use this offensively. Uh, say you're playing maybe a white aggro deck or something, I could see this being potentially a, a pretty good sideboard card, because you could be attacking in with your creatures if you're playing against a black-red deck, it could really mess up your opponent's blocks because, you know, they might block your creatures thinking they're going to trade in combat or something, but this could prevent all that damage. It works, obviously, quite well defensively, too. You could use it defensively to prevent damage from, like, a lightning bolt or something. However, your things gain hexproof anyway, so that's kind of redundant. But if your opponent plays a board wipe, like Anger of the Gods or Brotherhood's End or something like that, that could be pretty decent for this as well. This is basically a one-mana counter to... To like a red sweeper effect. In order to get that kind of utility out of the card though, you need to be playing creatures and you need your opponent to be playing blue and black spells that deal damage, so that kind of really narrows down the decks that would want to be playing this, but it's still kind of a cool thing to think about. Definitely I would say Veil of Summer is probably better, but also I feel like there are some decks that would want to play this and just ignore the second part of the ability and just play it as essentially white mana instant, you win permanence, you control gain hexproof until end of turn, that's still a, a pretty good card, and I definitely see that seeing play in Commander, if nothing else. But it seems like a very strong sideboard card in possibly multiple formats. And I've noticed a trend over the past few years of cards like this actually being quite good. Because we could compare it to some other cards other than Veil of Summer as well. You could actually go back as far as Kaladesh to something like Blossoming Defense. This card saw a lot of play back in Standard when Standard was a thing. Uh, mainly as a defensive spell, giving your creature hexproof for just one mana, and then obviously the plus two plus two mattered in a lot of situations as well. But then also there's Heroic Intervention. This card sees a ton of play in Commander. Permanency Control gain hexproof and indestructible sound of turn. It's pretty similar to this actually. Uh, well, kind of. This one gives all permanents hexproof and indestructible. This one gives you and all your permanents just hexproof, but in my experience anyway, a lot of the time when I cast Heroic Intervention, I'm essentially using it just to get the hexproof ability. Obviously not all the time, but the amount of times that I've cast it just to counter something by giving something hexproof uh, kind of makes me expect to see myself playing this card in some decks as well, especially seeing as this is just half the mana as Heroic Intervention is. And there are some newer cards like this as well, there's Tamiyo Safekeeping, just one green instant. Target permanent you control gains hexproof and indestructible till end of turn. You gain two life. This card is actually a, a pretty pricey common. That's in standard right now. And there's one from the most recent set, Phyrexia All Will Be One. Tyvar Stand. X and a green instant. Target creature you control gets plus X plus X and gains hexproof and indestructible till end of turn. Obviously the fact that some of these cards say indestructible as well makes them quite different from this, but I still think this card is quite interesting to compare to these at least. So like I said, I'm not as hyped about this card as I initially was, but even after thinking about it and going through this discussion, 
it still does seem quite good to me, and it would surprise me to see this card not being played in some decks, at least. Probably more decks than Bushwhack here, which is another card that I made a video similar to this about, where I was talking about this card as well, expecting it to see play in multiple formats. Uh, that's not the case, so far anyway, but it is seeing a little bit of play. It's at least not a bulk uncommon, but a trend that I've noticed is that cards that I get hyped about tend to end up not really doing much, so, you know, take that for what you will considering this video. But still, I think this card is cool. Anyway, though, if you're still watching, thanks for watching. It'd be cool if you can like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. I'd encourage everyone to come join my Discord server. You can find a link to that in the video description below. And also, I'll mention that if you'd like to purchase any Magic cards, you can get those by going to facetofacegames.com. They're the largest Magic store in Canada, and they're also a sponsor of the channel. And if you use code... 8th place Dave at the checkout you can save 5% on your order and I'd also just like to take a moment to thank all the patrons who support me on Patreon. Otherwise though thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.